9-11 was most definitely the most uh, horrendous day of my fire department experience. I put in almost uh, 30 years and uh, that day itself will always be in my memory, you know, because it was so devastating for everybody. We, uh, we heard the news. I happened to be on medical leave and I had heard the news in the midst of a stress test and uh, talk about adding stress and then all of a sudden when I heard about the second plane I realized there was more to it than just an accident so uh, I packed up my, uh, my nephew and myself who was also a fireman with me, with me in the ladder six went down to the uh, ferry terminal to get ourselves over to the city and it wound up that the ferries at that point weren't running anymore so we were lucky enough to hook up with a guy with a tugboat who took us over to the city and my first concern, of course, was the guys from my company, which was Ladder 6, knowing that they were in the building and at that point had no idea what was going on. Uh, we got to the city, we got our gear, went downtown, and we found out that they had gotten rescued from where they were inside the building. They wound up taking their time with an elderly woman coming down the stairs, and by doing that, whether they saved her or she saved them, it worked out perfect for my company they wound up in a little pocket of that stairway that was so essential and survived the whole situation. I think we were one of the few companies intact that walked out of there. Uh, Captain Jay Jonas and my good friends, all the guys that were working that day, God was watching over them because it was referred to as a miracle and by all means it was a miracle of Ladder 6 that they walked out of there. Initially after 9-11 the, after passed and we went to September 12th, Everybody felt compelled to be down there and just do what we can. And we knew there were still people trapped and our job was to find them. Uh, we did what we could for myself personally for the first few days and wound up going off medical leave and back into the charge system. So eventually I became a fireman in my firehouse again and on my time off would find myself down on uh, the pit as referred to. It was trying for everybody. It was uh, emotionally draining, physically draining. And as time went on, it was just completely draining between the funerals and you know all the uh, the sadness that was involved it, it was it wasn't fun at all i felt it was my job to stick around because there were so many new guys on the job that there was nobody there to guide them but part of the tradition of the fire department is older guys show the newer guys the job and if the new, the older guys were leaving the newer guys le were left to flounder so i felt it was you know important to stick around for a while which i did i stuck around for another I guess seven years or so, whatever the case was, and uh, you know, I, I, I was honored to pass on the tradition of the fire department to the younger guys. That was what we did. And there was no time to run away and leave. It was just uh, more important to stay because the fire department itself was devastated. The leadership was devastated. We lost so many important leaders of the fire department that were, it, in itself it had to regroup. So as a firehouse, like I said, fortunately we didn't lose anybody, but still we felt the effects all around us. So we had to stay there and maintain what we know to be the tradition of the fire department. Ten years down the road, I think quite a bit has changed. Uh, as far as the fire department go, I know their technology has changed, their strategy has changed, their training has changed. They're more, uh, unfortunately to say, the term terrorist aware, I mean, th that's what we got to deal with today. Uh, the whole country has changed on a whole because of that, naturally. 9-11, uh, if you live through it, you're never going to forget it. There's no question about that. And we just cannot let that happen again.